Simulation training helps hospital systems by uncovering performance gaps and vulnerabilities in systems and processes. Doctors who take part in simulation have found that their relationships with their team members have improved. Their communication skills have improved. There's a number of success stories associated with simulation. Beth Israel in Boston was able to decrease their obstetrical adverse outcomes by 50% after simulation-based training. Harvard noticed a 50% decrease in malpractice claims for anesthesiologists who attended simulation-based training. And at the University of Pittsburgh, airway management mishaps have decreased from 24 to 10 incidents a year. Simulation training is a unique and efficacious way for hospital systems to tackle their problems and improve patient safety. Simulation is a methodology that allows clinicians, whether as individuals or as members of an interdisciplinary team, to practice low incidence, high risk events. It's used in all specialties, obstetrics, pediatrics, emergency medicine. Simulation is an unconventional learning methodology because it allows the clinicians to practice their cognitive, their teamwork, their technical skills without the possibility of causing harm to the patient or themselves. It's been said that simulation basically takes a team of experts and turns them into an expert team. Simulation can be broken down into five distinct categories. The first is task training. Those skills like starting an IV, doing a rapid sequencing intubation. The second category we refer to as lecture animation or the practice of protocols where you practice your technical as well as cognitive skills. The third category is immersion in patient care. During this the team can put together their cognitive technical and teamwork skills. The fourth category deals with the psychosocial dynamics of medicine. Topics such as disclosure of unanticipated outcomes, dealing with disruptive colleagues, having difficult conversations with patients. The fifth category of simulation is becoming quite popular. In this category, simulation is used to test systems, processes, and equipment in the hospital. The most important aspect of simulation is the debrief. During the debrief, we ask ourselves what went well and why, what could have gone better and how, what systems issues, communication glitches, teamwork problems did we encounter and how might we fix them, what we need to learn to improve our work, and equally important, what we need to unlearn to improve our work. The debrief allows the team to come together in a safe environment to discuss all of these issues.